All right, EVJ really kicked it up a notch with this box. Check this box out, it's insane. Look at that design, it's nuts. But it doesn't matter because it's, what's important is what's inside the box and it's hardcore and it's not for everybody, it's for the serious enthusiasts. This is some crazy hardware and crazy hardware makes Albert happy. Check this puppy out. See if you can zoom in and read that. This is the Hydrocopper 16 from EVGA. This is their water cooling solution for the 200 series video cards. Check out the back on this thing. All copper, literally. And you can tell by the weight, this thing got to weigh at least five pounds. It's crazy, it's got a very cool back plate cooler. So very interesting. So if you're into water cooling, you're into overclocking, and you got one of these, a 260 or a 280, this is gonna be something that you're gonna to wanna to look into. This is a very, very, very cool product. It ex drops the temperatures extremely. You all know that uh, a large amount of the heat that's in your case is made by the GPU and not the CPU. So this is gonna keep everything cooler. And when you can run your GPUs cooler, your whole case runs cooler, you can run your CPU hotter. It means you can overclock more, you can overclock this further. And this thing is insane. It not only clocks, uh, not only cools the GPU, it, uh, it cools the uh, voltage regulator, the input output chip, and the memory all at the same time. And this actual backplate cooler actually has heat pipes that connect. It's a technology they call it co-op technology, but it pretty much connects to this cooler. So you got double double sides. You know, so on the cool side where there's nothing on the other side heating up the other side of the plate on the bottom of the video card, it's going to relieve uh, heat through there as well. So let's talk about what you can do with this though, because it doesn't matter if you water cool your video card unless you get to overclock it. So. Stock factory clock on a 280 is uh, 602 for the core clock. You can get this one, EVJ says up to 691. Extreme water cooler, you know, if you do it extreme, uh, some people have already gotten over 750 megahertz on the core clock. Now, the shaders are at factory at 1296. People have gotten these up to 1500 megahertz. So that's a huge overclock. It's almost 300, but it's more than 300 megahertz. Uh, very, very impressive. Now, the last thing is the memory. Memory on the factory uh, GTX 280 runs at 1107. It's double pumped because it's DDR3. That's 2214. Factory on this, the way that EVJ tells you, you can run it 2430. Some people have gotten it to 2500 megahertz. That's 2.5 gigahertz on your DDR3 memory. Very, very fast. Now, let me tell you how this works. Pretty much uh, water comes in over here. So uh, it goes in the E, out the A. That sounds kind of kind of naughty, but it's not goes through there and pretty much if you have SLI you can run it out the back but if not you do have block offs so you can either run SLI up to three cards or you can block them off and do a single or a double. Now it does come with all the hardware you need ready to go so check this out. These are high flow uh, type G barbs and there's block off plates in here and they come in both uh, three eighths of an inch and half an inch so you get no matter what system uh, water cooling system you're already using you can adapt these for usage in that. Very very cool. What else can I tell you? It even comes with a little package of, uh, look at this, thermal grease, hardware, an Allen wrench, all that stuff is on there. Very, very cool. Very high, uh, high flow path through here. If you're looking at the inside of this thing, pretty much a very high flow. I can't really show you the inside. You can take this thing apart. You lose your warranty if you take off the uh, part, but I did see pictures on the internet of someone that actually took the, the cooler apart, and on the inside, the design was very, very interesting. It actually was all shaped like the E uh, on the EVGA. There was little E's in there. It was really cool that they uh, integrated that especially in something where no one's ever, ever, ever going to see it. So this is a very insane little product from EVGA. If you do buy this product, make sure that you tighten the screw on your expansion port because if you don't, this card, I'm telling you this thing, I probably shouldn't do this and don't do this with yours, but let's, uh, let's drop it. Yeah, it's not light. It's very, very heavy. So make sure that you tighten those down because if it's with the weight already holding it, if your PCI expansion slot screw wasn't in all the way and you hit it, you're gonna rip your PCI Express off your board. So very important, make sure you check that. Also, another thing I'll tell you, if your water, uh, if, if you have a water cooled system, you have an overclocked a CPU, now that you have physics and CUDA and all that stuff coming out and the parallel processing, these GPUs run folding at home 100 times faster than a regular CPU. So if you water cool and further overclock your video card, if your, your team at folding at home could be like the best team on the planet. And there's not too many teams out there that have a lot of guys using uh, GPU enhanced processing. So if you guys are folding at home, this is something you wanna look into. Uh, that's pretty much it. If you have any other questions, email me. I'll see you guys next time. For more information on the EVGA GeForce GTX 200 series Hydro Copper 16 cooler, go to CompUSA.com and type in E145-200 into the search box. Or you can always call us 24 hours a day, seven days a week at 1-800-COMP-USA.